Hi, it's Elrin from the Mind Body Project. Welcome back. Thanks for liking, subscribing and following and commenting um, and sharing. Thank you very much for your help. Today's question is, what we got today? How can I overcome waking up every morning in panic and rushing sensations? That is an unconscious mind problem. So therefore, you need a technique to deal with that. The techniques you can do is anything to do with this triad here that breaks these patterns. When you get anxious or anxiety, as uh, as you're saying here, then what's happening is your, your mind is you're focusing on uh, pictures. So that's focus. So it might be a video. It might be something in the future. You're focusing on something that's causing an issue. You, you're going to be saying stuff to yourself in a very, very, very fast, blah, 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 fast very loud um, t tonality in internal dialogue. And your unconscious mind feeds off that. It um, eavesdrops on anything that you say your unconscious mind does, and it accepts it as true. That's why you don't say bad things to other, about other people and don't say bad things about yourself because your unconscious mind accepts it as true. And then physiology as well. You're doing something with your physiology, or it may be that you're lacking doing things with your physiology because things like physical activity, nutrition, breathing techniques, so meditation as well, and then making sure that you're hydrated can all affect how you actually feel. The problem with this person here who's saying who you're saying that this happens every single morning so somehow you've you've programmed it to kick in at those times i'm getting a lot of questions for morning and evening anxiety and usually it's because that's the time when your unconscious mind can communicate with you because during the daytime, you are distracted. And these, uh, this emotional triad here, this emotional triad state, your focus may be on other things during the day. And your internal dialogue, you'll have someone maybe speaking to you during the day, or you may be watching TV. So it's not going to affect you as much. And your physiology, you may be walking around, you may be doing some work. So it's going to be different. And then when you're not doing those things during the day and you have time to lay down, then the focus and the language pattern, the internal dialogue and the, the physical activity, the lack of physical activity, should I say, may be coming into effect at those times in the morning and the evening. So what I would do, this is all unconscious. So you programmed it in, but now it's unconscious. So you've got to use a technique, what, what I call an alpha brainwave state techniques. So you have to be in a relaxed state. It has to be the unconscious mind that does the change. Traditional medicine, all that will do is treat symptoms, but you to change this, you have to do something, an alpha brainwave state. Meditation can do it, but you're going to have to practice and get good at meditation, but that can do it. Um, hypnotherapy can do this. You can do it with NLP techniques. And what the things that I would use that I love using are the NLP um, high performance games, because what they do is they create a high performance state. And then we can program that state to kick in in the morning or in the evening so we can do that by programming the brain to do that that's what i would do with that but you need and one of these techniques to actually be able to deal with that tapping techniques they work quite well as well yeah because that changes your it breaks your pattern as well so those things can help with that mm -hmm.